When you first set foot into eight-year-old Dalton L. Chokichi's room, you almost feel like you're entering his own fortress of solitude, or perhaps his private bat cave. It's art teacher painted that because he's a big Robin fan. Welcome to Dalton's superhero room filled with a flying Superman hanging from the ceiling and posters featuring members of the Justice League. And of course, there's Dalton talking about the Incredible Hulk and Thor from the Avengers movie. And look when he punched Thor. Yeah, oh that was good. Like this. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> it's also easy to tell that Dalton is no ordinary kid. He's facing some pretty super obstacles, but with the support of his parents, David and Stacy, and his sister, Marissa. It all started about two years ago when Dalton's parents took him to the doctor for his kindergarten physical. When I heard muscular dystrophy, my jaw, I'm sure, probably dropped. In a second, we walked out with a little boy that was basically given um, a, a short life is what they you know, were, were telling us. Dalton was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's an inherited disorder which involves muscle weakness, which quickly gets worse and can eventually claim the life of the children who have it. When he asks me, is he not, you know, mommy, why can't I walk? Or I'm starting to get emotional. Dalton's disorder makes it harder for him to run around like other kids, and it's more difficult for him to climb the steps of his playground set. As a child becomes a teenager, usually walking becomes uh, too much for them. They, uh, their muscles will get so weak that they end up having to go into a wheelchair. Dr. William Warner is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Labonner's Muscular Dystrophy Clinic. It provides children like Dalton with neuromuscular diseases one location to receive care and it's used for clinical trials of the latest experimental therapies and drugs. So there are some things that have uh, helped them uh, as far as trying to keep them uh, from developing deformities and keeping them more active. It's why this family, which wears its Team 3D t-shirts, Dalton defeating Duchenne, remains hopeful that a cure will be found. Le Bonner is part of God's blessing in Dalton's life and in the life of any kid. Le Bonner is giving hope to sick kids like Dalton who feel almost like they're superheroes. We always say he's God's superhero. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3.